Hi people, this is Gio of a Roundtable, and today it's another image title, and it's called Nocteria, okay? And this, I'm going to show you the way it is. Way I'm going to show you. Okay, and that's a, sh a shadow above her, okay? Uh, writer, Scott Snyder, artist, Tom S. Daniel, and colorist, Tumio Morel. And, and if I pronounce it wrong, I know I'm puzzle sure I pronounce it wrong. I'm sorry, okay? And forget... This for me, it's a wow wow factor. I don't know if, if people, example, the boys was based on a comic book. And this, this should be on TV. This is the next next thing, like uh, what's called the zombie zombie TV series, all this crazy uh, the Walking Dead, all this kind of thing. That's possible compared to this one here. This one is uh, yeah, and I see a little glare on my eyes there, my glasses. This thing is impressive. I mean, I love it. I like, I love it, love it, love it. it it's like, and when I binge read it, it's like, you know, like I'll go, I'll go two, three issues because I gotta go to work and everything, and I'll stop. No, no, no I have okay, okay. How can I stop now? Okay, I read four, five pages, and then I'll, I force myself to stop because I have to go sleep and because next day I gotta wake up early and everything. It's well done, you know. And the thing is, this is happening is that, well, I, I read it until from one to eleven. Plus, there's a special edition in there. And uh, it's basically about that, they call it the PM, which is all of a sudden one day, there was like the, sh like the main character. Okay, her name is uh, Val Higgs, Riggs, and her call sign is Sundog, okay? Now, she was in school. So she was in, a, I think she was in late elementary school. She was... I don't think she was in high in high school and everything like that, and yeah, I think she was in elementary school. If I remember right, because she drew a picture of her family and everything. Okay, and she used to be blind, semi, and she got an operation and she was able to visual sign, and that's why she's kind of special in the story because she always seen dark shades when she was supposed to be blind, kind of sense, partially blind, whatever you want to call it, you know. So she always seen shades. So when she got her eyesight, she seen the world differently. But she still didn't feel comfortable with the world. Like she goes, in, but what I seen before was it true? Was it not true? So she's always like more aware than, than all of us are, with the sun being like where we see daylight, we have better vision, kind of sense. So when the the PM came, is is basically based a scientist trying to do something that was trying to get energy from a dimension which is full of light, and use that as energy. Now he said. It was impossible to that that the machine went to the the, the the dark like it was pivoted away and went to the dark force. Sami did it, and and you try to find out who it is, who's not. I'm not gonna spoil everything. And he said it's not him, and he's trying to resolve his mistake and fix it up and everything. And then there's there's this force that trying to prevent them from doing it, and that this this psycho killer, which I kind of like. In a bad way, but in a good way. But anyways, his name is Black Black Top Bill, which has this, this uh, synthetic cost uh, thing on on him. Anyways, didn't uh, I forgot what was the whole word? But anyways, he's a serial killer. But you don't know if he's a hitman or he's a cleaner. He, it's like there's still things that you don't know about this guy. But he but he won't you like he'll kill people in a flinch. Doesn't give a damn. Give a damn. His priority is he he's the most important person in the world. And that's it. Nobody's above him. He'll listen to people or his, his boss and everything for now. As soon as he doesn't need them, he's going to kill them. And that's it. That's all. So he was sent to, 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 to get her, uh, to stop them, kill them, and all those kind of things. And she's trying, with the scientists and all that, with the, with the math equation and everything, she's trying to bring the daylight back into the world. Well, day and sun. But at the same time, there's a different story about who's at fault. Because there's, there's a little storyline, like the 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 light the light zone where the where the, the, the professor was about to, to take. Did he touch it a bit? Because there's certain places you see these these humanoid people that look like they came from the light universe, kind of sense. So are they the one who brought the darkness, or are they here because they're trying to prevent the darkness taking over? You don't. I we don't. I don't. I, I like. It, there's still a lot of and like the the I call that they answer a lot of questions, but then they had more questions that like 
okay now that's resolved now they brought you to the next phase it's like okay now it makes sense but they do it in a good way kind of sense so this one here i won't be surprised one day it'll be a tv series because this i mean then you have the humanoid like this example with those shades okay and this shades example it's no more like dark shade of rabbits or wolf no because then after once it comes shades they can actually um do it kind of and the their next offsprings is different so like a bear with a with a wolf will become a bear wolf baby but in a shady side and they'll have like different arms and this and this and that but these as ugly and, and, and disgusting as these monsters are Okay, and suddenly you see they're like they're discussing everything. They're still very like as soon as they they sense a human shade, they dispense. You know, they just disappear. So that's how bad the humans are. You know, shades. So you kind of see them a bit there, but you don't see hundred percent how they are exactly. Well, one part you do see it, but I'm, I'm not sure if they're real the, the, the real shades human. So I'm I'm kind of like tippy tippy toe on it. But overall, wow. I mean, and the art, and the colorist, like especially what's I got them right there. Did I say yeah? Marcel, ooh, excuse. Me. Anyways, and the other the and the other uh, colorist is Marcelo Miolo. He's he's the best of the best in the, in the colorist. I'm sorry, I got make it goes. Yeah, guys, the other one is good, but this guy is even better than than the the other one. But overall, sorry about the boo boo there. Well, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I, right now, if, if if I have all these books and I, had, I knew somebody in the, in, the, in the TV shows there, I go, look, make this, make this into a movie, a TV series. It'll hit for me. Cause any, and anybody with The Walking Dead and all those kind of things, jump over. Yeah, I'm repeating it because it's amazing. So I'll let you go. Seven minutes, not bad. I'll let you go. One of the best reads so far. So take care, guys. Geo out.